Hi, you see this color palette? I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your very own color palette in today's video. Let's go. Hey friends, my name is Steph Castellan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a color palette for your blog, your website, and for your brand. It's gonna make everything cohesive and give you a uniform look, whether you're using Instagram or Facebook or creating a freebie or sending something to your email list. You can use this color palette to help establish your brand and look that much more professional, even if you're a new blogger or just diving into the online world. I know from my own experience that when I created my color palette, maybe maybe eight months to a year into my blogging journey, it was a huge step up in my professionalism for blogging. Instead of having my colors all over the place, finally everything was cohesive. Everything that I was creating and putting out as content for my viewers and for my readers had one brand, had one uniform look, and it was a really simple step that I took to create this. So I wanna share this with you. And I also would encourage you to come up with a color palette because honestly, it's a huge time saver. Instead of choosing, you know, any color under the sun when you create a new piece of content, this gives you three to seven-ish colors that you go to every single time. So it saves you so much time because you're like, yep, yep, yep. And you just design uniform content using these same colors. Again, awesome. And if you've watched my other videos, you guys know that I am not a design expert. I am definitely not a color expert and I was still able to create this really good looking color palette. So I'm confident that you can too. Watch this video and then take 10 to 20 minutes for yourself and go create your own color palette for your blog, website, and brand. There are plenty color design websites out there. So go ahead and do some research. You can find your own, but I continue to go back to coolers. And that's the one that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. It's like colors, but with two O's, so it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, so it's called coolers. And I'm just gonna walk you through the same process that I use to come up with my own color palette. So let's go ahead and type in coolers.co and you'll see that this is their homepage. And right off the bat, it gives you the option to start the generator, which is creating your own palette, which I will show you more of, or explore trending palettes, which is this little explore button. You can also see them up here with generate or explore. Let's start off with explore to give you an idea of different color options, and then we can go ahead and make our own palette. So let's start with explore trending palettes. And here, my friends, are some trending color palettes that already look awesome. So you could pick any one of these and have them as the main colors for your blog, website, and brand. Check these out. Here's more of an earthy tones, greens, tans, browns. Here's a brighter theme. Here's one that kind of goes into like its own color gradient from, you know, purple to blues to a green teal. I mean, all sorts of options here. So what I recommend doing is going through and finding one that you like maybe one to two colors on. These two are kind of similar and I really like them. So I'm gonna go to this one. I don't love all five of these colors, but like I said, we can change that. We're gonna change that. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Remember, you can always go back to this Explore More page and these will be up too. So you can reference them again, but let's go ahead and try this one out. So if I just click on these three dots and go to Open in Generator, this is where it would have taken us if we went to generate a palette right from the beginning of the home page. So this is still the same thing. See, we're on generate now before we were on explore. So we're on generate and these are the five colors from the co popular color palette page that we were on before. Real quick, I wanna go through these options. If I want to lock a color, then I just click this lock button right here and that's gonna stay while these ones change. If I go here, it's copy hex, so you can see it's copied to my clipboard. Hex is this six digit number and letters that you find here that is the color. So you can see that 588B8B is this teal green, all the Fs is white. Basically, you use the hex to get the exact color that you want that you come up with here. So when I'm using Canva or I'm sending out an email and I wanna change the color, I can insert the color as this hex instead of getting it close, like maybe a teal or an orange or a pink. I can just insert these six digits and it will give me this exact color for my brand. That's what's so awesome about creating this color palette is that you're gonna have the exact colors that you want for your brand throughout all the content that you're creating. So this just saves it to your clipboard if you wanna save it in your own document or your own area. We can actually export this as an image, which is awesome. But yeah, that, there's that option for you. This, if you just click on the arrow and drag it, you can switch places with the different colors. This, if you click the star, you can save it to your favorites. You do need an account to be able to save to your favorites. Might be beneficial for you. I actually don't have an account. I just created my color palette and then exported it. 
it works for me, but you can go ahead and create an account if you want to. It will save all that information. Moving up to the shades, you can click on this and see that we are using this shade here, but I can also change it to this shade. If I just go back, Command Z, or I click this Undo, it goes back to the original color that I have, but you can see the different shades that are available under this specific color. So we'll leave it what it is for right now, just for the sake of showing you what this looks like. And then also you can click this X to remove the color. So here's now the four. Again, at Command Z to undo and it's back. Something else I wanna show you is if you click on this plus button, it adds colors. And if I hold it down, it can add up to five in between the two colors. So you'll see that it will take this blue green to this white and add five different colors in between. There they all are. So I could keep maybe, I wanna keep this middle one and it might look like that. Or if I just press it once, it puts one in between so you can see like there and there and there and that just looks brilliant. I mean that right there is a great looking color palette for your blogger website. Actually I'm really loving this color palette but I need to show you if you did want to change a few of the colors what this looks like. So let's go ahead and go back to what we had before. So I think I have to yeah get rid of all those. So this is Again, the original that we had from when we were on the explore button. Here's our colors that, oh, this is the one that we were using. So let's say that I want to keep maybe these three, actually. I'm loving this one, this one, and this one. And I want to change these last two to something else. So what I would do is I would lock these. Okay, so you can see them locked there and there. Now they're all three locked. If I press the space bar, this is going to generate different color options for these two. So space bar and it came up with these two. And I can just keep pressing it until I find a color that I like that matches the theme that I already have. So maybe I like this kind of off-white snow <laughs> is what it's called color. So then I would just lock that one down and continue to find another one that I like. Sure, that looks good. So we can lock that. And then I can also create that other color, you know, in between these two. And maybe, let's see what else it comes up with. Um, I mean, I could be, I, I could go as long as I wanted to find the color that I wanted and we'll go with, you know what? And then if you press the arrows and can go back, I actually, that one looks great. So I'll go ahead and lock that in place. This right here could be the color palette that I then export to use for my blog, website, and brand. Or if you wanna search for your own colors, so maybe like using the space bar isn't working for you or you're just not finding what you want, you can go here to select color. You can then go to this drop down arrow by hex, go to picker, and you can pick your own color. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. Yeah, that you want. So if you just go to picker, then it will still give you the hex color down here, um, but it's just a way for you to be able to pick the color that you actually want, again, if it's not generating the one that you want through the space bar. So let's go ahead and do this. I kind of like this like uh, more tanner bone color accent. <laughs> so if I go up here to export, you can see the different options, URL, PDF, I'll go to image and I'll put stuff, cast a line, color palette. Like I said, I want it as hex, and so I click export, and it's now in my downloads. Here it is, right there. So you can save this wherever you keep all of your blog, website, brand information um, as your color palette. So then you just reference this whenever you're creating any content. I recently did a video on a Canva tutorial, so showing you how I create all my graphics and my design elements. And this palette right here, this color palette, is what I use to create all of those designs. Like these are the exact colors. Well, these aren't the colors. These are the colors that I use to create my designs. These right here are the colors that I'm using to create my YouTube thumbnails, my pin images, my information on Instagram. I just showed you how I created a little Instagram carousel. I use these colors right here. So download this and save it in a place where you keep your website and blog information. And I wanna show you one more thing that's really cool about really cool about coolers they actually have an option where you can create a color palette from one of your photos or one from their own collection so if you go to well I just went to it but if you go to this little camera here it says create palette from photo click on it and you can bring in your own photo 
So here's my image and it actually has the same colors that I've generated with the color palette behind it so that I've already created. But if I click on these different colors, I can then go ahead and change the ones that I want to fit this image. So I could change all of them by just going like this and like this and moving it down here and moving this one to this yellow and moving this one to this little bit darker. Okay, so I just created my own by placing this little marker. I can also create a different color palette automatically by using this feature. Oh, I kind of like those colors, but I would maybe want to change this one to this yellow again. Yeah, I really, really like that. Um, but you can just use a slider to come up with a whole variety of different colors based on your image that you choose. You can also add in different color spaces. So here you can see I've done two, four, six, eight now. So if I keep kind of shifting these around, so let's go with this. Let's change this one to this white. We already have a green. So we'll do that. We already have a maroon that's in there. Oh, I like that dark one again. And, oh, I need that yellow. Give me some of that yellow. Okay, so like that. So this could be our two, four, six, eight colors that we choose. And then if we just go to next, we can export it right away. So export the palette, same thing that we did before, export it as an image or open it in the generator. So now you can see our eight colors. We can shift some things around. Maybe I want this one over here. I don't really love this one. I'll just get rid of it. This one's kind of nice. We'll put it this way. Yeah, and then if we want anything in between, so you can see some of the different images that are being created like this. Ooh, apparently I can't do another one here. I didn't know that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It gives you a limit of ten colors. I just learned that live on camera with you guys. Okay, but maybe I want to get rid of this one. And yeah, I want to just see what this looks like. Ooh, I kind of like that. Olive, how do you ever choose? That, my friends, is another piece of advice that I have for you in just a second. And like anything, you can dive way deeper into this. So if I go to more, you can view it as a gradient and just see what it looks like for whatever reason. You can view the luminance map, which I don't really know what this means to be honest, because again, I'm not a color expert. And that's fine because I don't have to be and you don't have to be either. You can use this coolers. Again, it's just such a great resource. They already give these really good looking color palettes to you. And then you can just go in and customize them to whatever you want for whatever look you want for your blog, website, and brand. And that is basically it for creating your own super simple color palette. Oh, actually, I did want to show you one more thing. If you go back up here to create palette from photo before I use my own image, but if you go to search, they also have a lot of different options available. So you can click on any of these that you would want to use to create your own color palette. Or let's see what they come up with if we put in mountains. So you can see the different options. Oh, I kind of like this look here. So if we click on that, Again, this is showing the different colors that we have right now generated, but if I move this, here, let's put this down to five again. Two, four, five, there we go. And I move this around. Yeah. So I can, again, just kind of come up with those different colors that I'm excited about. That was not what I was going for. That, <laughs> that looks pretty good. Okay, now I have shown you everything that I wanted to to help you create your own color palette. And I touched on this a little bit before, but you can drive yourself crazy trying to pick the perfect colors. The perfect combination, the shades, you're gonna see other bloggers and people doing one thing and you're gonna love that. And then you're gonna see another one and love that. And then you're gonna see another one and love that. And my advice to you is you just have to pick one. I know that sounds so simple and it's really a frustrating answer, trust me, but pick two main colors and then a few accent colors to go with it and just go for it. You can always change. You, you guys know this, I talk about it every single time I make a video. You can always change if needed. Pick something, stick with it for a while, and you can always change if you have to. There's nothing wrong with that, but more importantly, you have to pick something to get started. My advice is to look at what others are doing. Again, if you don't have any design experience or, or color expertise, look at what other people in your specific niche are doing. It does seem like there are general 
color themes for different niches. So whether you're into travel or cooking or lifestyle, look at what other people are doing and you can kind of base your colors off of that, honestly. And don't copy. I mean, we're not here to copy. You're here to do your own thing. But you can see what other bloggers or online creators are doing and then create your own color palette based on that. And that's it. Take that image that you exported with those hex numbers on it and those different colors and use it every single time you create a piece of content for your brand. You guys are going to be shocked if you are not doing this how much this steps up your game and how much more professional it makes you look like it is one of the simplest things you can do to just take your blog and your website to that next level and again just to reiterate it will save you a ton of time which is like yes can we get more of that more time saving hacks please i hope you enjoyed this video maybe learned something new and most importantly i say this again in all of my videos go and do this for yourself don't just be like huh you know i should probably come up with a color palette for my blog no Stop, stop this video, go to coolers and just go create your own color palette. It is so simple. You can do it in less than 20 minutes and then start having that consistency for your blog and brand. I've got some exciting videos in the queue for these next few weeks. I'm excited to share more with you guys. If you wanna see any specific content, let me know down below. Let me know what I can help with, what you're struggling with and just how I can cheer you on. Cheering you on is my favorite because I have been through this journey myself. I'm going through this journey myself and just like sharing it with other people. Uh, it's just so much fun to have a community who gets it, like people who actually get it and who write and comment and are encouraging and and, and that's you, that, that's you guys. So thank you, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe, share this with a friend if you would. If you think that someone would benefit from using coolers and creating their own color palette, send them my video, I would really appreciate that. Thanks for being here and I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Bye.